Hello and welcome to Elections 101 in 5, a show brought to you by IGA Africa and supported by the UNDP. Election 101 in 5 is your most dependable, trusted guide for accurate, condensed and concise information about Nigeria's electoral process. I am Samson Itodo and let's get started. How much do you know about sensitive and non-sensitive materials used on election day in Nigeria's elections? We asked on the streets and these are the responses. I don't really understand what you mean by the sensitive materials. Sensitive materials are uh, important electoral materials like uh, the, the paper booklets. Politics, I don't know what sensitive material is. Getting logistics right in an election is an indication that the elections may be seamless because elections requires movement of people, machines and materials. Now, materials used for Nigerian elections have been categorized as sensitive and non-sensitive materials, depending on the role they play in an election. Now, while all election materials are of genuine importance in ensuring successful elections, the materials required by INEC for the conduct of elections may vary from as basic as pens, papers, rulers, voters list, indelible inks, ballot papers, result sheets. As stated in the 2022 Electoral Act, the INEC, as the commission responsible for the conduct of elections, shall before the commencement of elections or voting on election day, provide all election materials for the conduct of elections. It is INEC's responsibility to deploy and manage the materials and equipment in a way that it builds confidence on the minds and the hearts of the voters that the Commission has the competence and the capacity to conduct elections in an efficient and impartial manner. So these materials are categorized into sensitive and non-sensitive materials. So what are the non-sensitive materials? They include things like stationaries, like tapes, uh, tables, uh, chairs, uh, voting cubicles, indelible ink, pens, tamper-proof envelopes, ballot boxes, just to be clear, empty ballot boxes. These constitute some of the examples of non-sensitive materials used for elections. And as their names suggest, they are non-sensitive and they can be easily replaced by the Commission. The second category of materials are the sensitive materials. They are sensitive because of the value and the importance that they play for the conduct of elections. And more importantly, they are sensitive because those are the materials where you express your choice, your preferred choice of a political party or a candidate. In other words, those are the materials where you vote or you thumbprint or you mark on the ballot papers to show who is your preferred candidate. And these materials include one, ballot papers, two, result sheets. But a third sensitive material has been added to the universe of sensitive materials in our elections. And with the introduction of electronic accreditation, the Beavers machines are now considered sensitive materials used for our elections. INEC is required by law to procure and deploy these materials to all the 176,846 polling units where elections will be held across the Federation. And as provided by law, there are also timelines stipulated for deploying these materials to ensure INEC conducts a free, fair and error-free election. And that's Elections 101 in 5. And please verify and confirm that when you go out to vote on election day, all these materials are present at your polling unit before election commences. Thank you for watching. I am Samson Itodo. Remember to verify and locate your polling unit before election day using the INET website displayed on your screen so you don't show up at the wrong polling unit on election day. Don't forget, your vote can make a significant difference. Vote wisely.